Hello, greetings from Knoxville, Tennessee. We have just experienced our worst snowstorm in 30 years. I was not here for the blizzard of 1993. At that time, I was in Alaska, so obviously I was accustomed to the snow up there. But this has been one heck of a snow for Knoxville, primarily because after it snowed, the temperature stayed in the uh, low 10 digit area around, well, they were as low as five degrees and less. So I think we might've actually hit zero a time or two. So that's kept the snow on the ground for some time. We got the snow on the 14th, if I remember correctly, which was eight days ago. So let's just take a little look. I sent the drone out a little while ago to uh, see what uh, the uh, street looked like. Now I have been out and about three or four times since the snow hit. I've got a, a four-wheel drive uh, vehicle, so I don't really have any problem. Uh, although two days ago when I went out, I did have some difficulty actually going down the hill because by that point, the snow was pretty well packed into a sheet of ice and there were few spots to get any real traction on. So I was creeping down the hill at one mile per hour. And even then I slid some and skidded. So I had to turn into the skid. And it's a good thing I practiced doing that back when I was a young guy, back at, when I was 16 years old, first got my license. Uh, I'd go into the uh, parking lot at uh, Kmart and build up a little speed, hit the brakes, slam into it and, and uh, steer into the skid. So uh, I got some experience doing that and it's worked out well. I've used it a number of times over the years. Now here we see our neighbor out uh, with his little bobcat trying to do the best he can to help the street situation. And he's made a little progress, but he's not gonna do much with that little machine. And going on down the hill here, I've uh, done a speed ramp on the video, so we don't take forever and a day to look at it. And I'll just kind of shut up here, and if there's anything worth talking about, I'll talk about it. And so we're down at the bottom of the hill. Now I turned around here and my signal was getting kind of weak in my uh, goggles and also for the controller. So both the video and the control signal for a little weak. So I climbed up a little higher to get a better signal coming back up the hill. But as I came up, I started going on down, and now I spotted my neighbor on his bobcat again. So I was concentrating on him instead of concentrating on my flyer, and wait for it, wait for it, there, right between the wires. And you saw I got off the uh, throttle, and uh, you saw the frame of the uh, drone come up into the video a little bit there. I said, wow, almost bought the farm there. Of course, it wouldn't be the first time I've crashed the Avada drone. Those little things are very tough, and honestly, I think uh, DJI made them to be crashable. Although one time I did crash it so bad I had to send it back for service, but that's why I get the uh, Care Refresh program when I buy a drone. And here I just popped up to get a little altitude, turn around and take a look at the uh, street from uh, a higher vantage point. And so that's what she looks like after eight days and it hasn't really melted any because as I say, it hadn't really been above freezing. But this afternoon it is supposed to get up to around 42 to 44 degrees. So that'll help start the melt. And tonight it'll be back below freezing again, but tomorrow it's supposed to be 48, I think. So tomorrow and Thursday, we should be rid of most of it. And by the weekend, it'll all be gone. So that's the nice thing about Knoxville. Usually we only get three or four snows a year, and usually they only last two or three days and then they're gone. But that's what we had this time, so thanks for watching. And as Sebastian would say, have a good night.
Go pee. Go pee. Go pee. Is that not a big enough spot to pee in? Hmm? Sebastian, you're a character.